This is Candy Apple TV. I will show you how to make candy apple bows in 10 steps. I am your host and founder, DIY Queen Diva. In small font or large font, you will see double face on the ribbon. You will need scissors, your lighter, and your double face ribbon. The reason for double face ribbon is to make sure both sides have that satin shiny side. So you cut your ribbon 22 to 24 inches long. Leave enough ribbon hanging for your tail. Or your candy apple bow. I am going to show you how to make candy apple bow by step in this tutorial. So step one, wrap the ribbon around your index and middle finger. Step two, take the ribbon and pull up in between index and middle finger. Step three, Wrap the ribbon around your index finger. Hey Divas, I need to brag about a sponsor real quick. Michelle Sweet Treats makes all kinds of goodies. She makes cakes, cupcakes, donuts, cookies, and so much more. Go check her out. Shipping is available. She also offers gluten and sugar-free treats. So again, go check her out. Her contact information is down in the description box down below. Step four, pull the ribbon over, tuck in the V section, in between both index and middle fingers. So this is the V section. Step five, Flip your hand over. Step six, pull the ribbon out. Step seven, flap the ribbon over in between both index and middle fingers. Step eight, flip your hand over again. Step nine, take the ribbon and tuck underneath the flap that sits on the bottom right side. There's the flap. When I say underneath, and I need to emphasize on this, there's a flap right here on the bottom right side. You're going to take this ribbon and you're going to tuck it under. For instance, you see this ink pen. I am going to tuck it under. When I tuck it under, that ribbon is going to be right there. Then I am going to pull the ribbon up towards the sky or towards my index and middle finger. So, the issue here is the tuck. You're going to tuck under. You're not gonna take this ribbon and go over. It's not gonna work, okay? It's not gonna work if you tuck it over. So you take your ribbon. I feel like I need to get close here. You take your ribbon and you tuck under you need to tuck it under when it reaches look tuck it under the flap look tuck it under the flap under then you pull this is your last step step 10 pull the ribbon towards the sky or up towards your index and middle finger and pull up and pull down. There's your bow. I know you guys can do it. If it doesn't feel tight, you may have to go up, go down several times. There's your bow. You take the bow off your fingers. You can leave it 
like this if you want to. You really can. But instead, I am going to fluff my bow. I am going to make sure it's fluffed out. Now I am going to cut my tails. Cut one tail slant up on one side. Okay, cut the other tail, turn it around, and cut slant down on the other side. Then you want to burn your tips with a lighter or a torch, whatever you have. You want to tap your tips. Okay. If it looks even, don't bother it. If it looks even, don't bother it. If it looks even, don't bother. If it doesn't look even, push the knot over until it looks even. It's optional to add a button. This is a teddy bear theme, and you can find these teddy bears down in my Amazon bake shop down below. So you just tap some glue on the back of the button. So you just add a little hot glue on the back of the button and you attach it to your bow like that if you have learned something from this video make sure you hit the like button down below and if you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you look at the next videos coming up right here right now and i'll see you in a few seconds over in the next video